Hello there and welcome to my YouTube channel on human design. I always wonder what I'm going to say uh, when I do YouTube uh, videos because there's so much I could say in this huge human design science. Um, but the main thing about human design is to bring us back to who we are. And we understand very clearly that the thinking process in the head and ajna is not going to help guide us in our own lives. So I thought today I would uh, I would focus on the intuitive hearing, I'd focus on something that is deep within some people and others have access to it. It's about intuitive hearing in the now. It's all about the now, coming back to the now. In human design, it's known as the fear of the future. But in fact, when you're in the now, there is no fear. You're just in it. And it's an awareness. It's an awareness called the gentle. The gentle that you don't even notice is there like a gentle breeze until you're cold to the bone. It's something that can penetrate through the now into what is really going on. It has a knowing that is designed to keep us safe in the now. So we're going to go into that. But before I do, just to say I am Richard Beaumont. For those people who haven't come to my channel before, I've been in human design for 25 years. 20 of those I've been training uh, professional analysts in how to read charts and other things. Okay, so back to the 57th gate, back to this clarity. In the I Ching, it's called the, in, the extraordinary power of clarity to cut through what is going on. And this is done through the ear. It's acoustic. Anyone that has the 57th gate will not only be listening to what people are saying, they'll also be listening to the tonal quality of what is said. It's the tonal quality that carries the meaning of what is actually going on, at least to the extent that it can. If you think about uh, this aspect in animals, you know, you can be saying all kinds of things to your dog, you know, but it's not going to understand the words, but it will understand the tone. You know, you can be telling your dog off in a, in a, in a nice way and it'll be wagging its tail thinking it's, everything is fine. It's also about knowing in the now, knowing in the now. You can know something that's going on with someone because of a tonal change that, that, that happened in the moment and you immediately catch a whole lot more. You may not know all the content, but you know, you know that this is something important to them. For those of you who have the 57th gate in a fixed spleen, you always have access to this intuitive knowing this awareness that is designed to keep you safe in the now. And it's not about thinking, and it's not about feeling, it's about spontaneously knowing. And you just know through the intuition. It can be used in, if we look at the 57.4, it can be used in the way of knowing how to handle other people intuitively. It is, after all, a very individual gate, and the individuals don't really want to be interfered by anybody. So the intuition will help to reduce the interference if you listen to it. But if you don't listen to it, then you don't get that. Now think about what it's like to have the 57 in an open spleen. So you don't have the constant um, awareness there. That doesn't mean that you can't focus in on it when you pay attention. You're here to be wise about the intuition in that way. You're here to be wise about the clarity that can be known if you're paying attention. But of course, if it's not in a fixed spleen, you won't be paying attention, you know, until you are. So a lot of um, complementary and alternative healing therapists uh, have an open spleen. They can pick up the toxicity in other people 
They can really tune into what's happening with the other people. And when they're in their business and they're in their job, that's exactly what they're doing. But they're also hearing intuitively through that 57. They're tuning into what's going on with the other in order to be able to guide them into um, a better place. Now, if we look at the 57, it's part of the integration channel. And you can see that it's going to be looking at the 34, it's going to be looking at the 10, it's going to be looking at the 20. So if you have the 57 in your chart in a fixed spleen, you can also use it to get energy or to play with energy. Um, I once saw a very amusing, well, I found it amusing anyway, amusing example of this um, with two people that knew, knew each other very well. And one had the 57 in a fixed spleen and, not, and it wasn't going anywhere, it, didn't, it wasn't connected anywhere else. And the other one had the 34 in the fixed sacral and the, the spleen, the 57 intuitively knew how to get the, how to get the energy up in the other. I mean, she was literally toying with this guy and she could get him again and again and again intuitively knowing in the moment when to strike, when to say something, how to say it. It's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing gift if you've got it. And you've got to understand it's, it's not about thinking things through. It's just you know or you don't know. And if there's something around that's acoustically different to the way that it usually is, then you immediately you're on alert. Or at least I am. I have the, uh, the channel of power with the 34 in it. So I have energy going into that awareness. And if there's a a sound that I'm not familiar with, immediately I, I, everything has to stop. And if I'm with other people, I'll go, wait, listen. It's something that I, I am compelled to do. And this is really an example of what I'm trying to bring to you today. It's like if you have the intuition and it can easily be overwhelmed by the emotional system and, and what people are feeling, or what you're feeling, it can easily be overwhelmed by the, the the thought, by their thinking. But if you just blank all that out and are in the moment, then you get to tune into it. Don't let anything else interfere. If you have a fixed spleen, it's going to be connected at some somewhere to another center, otherwise it wouldn't be fixed. So it also means that it will be active. And in that sense, the intuition in the now, as along with the other intuitions and instincts um, in the spleen, will suddenly bring out a physical sensation of some, some sort. It might be um, a shiver that runs through you. It might be the hackles at the back of the neck or the tingles of the temple or the goosebumps that run along you. Or it can be feeling like electricity that runs through you. It can be accompanied and by the physical sensation to get you to pay attention to the now. That's what it's all about. So what I really wanted to just say to you is pay attention to it. If you've got it, pay attention to it. Don't override it. The more that you can use what you have in you, the better it is. The more your life is going to work for you because it will point out things that could be very useful to you as well as what could be dangerous to you. It can be very useful. It can be very useful to pay attention to what the intuition is telling you in any situation. Useful for your survival. Useful for your intelligence. Holding the space if you have the 5720. Uh, as I do, when, when the muse is moving through it, when knowing is moving through it, then I want to be in my knowing in the moment. Um, if I'm doing anything else, and, and then suddenly there is this knowing that wants to come out, I will stop whatever I'm doing, sit down and write down whatever it is. This is where, this is like working with your design. If you know what you've got in you, then be all of it. <laughs> embody it let it come out and the 57 is a key to so many things it's a key in the 10th gate towards behavior how to behave in any situation the how to comes from the intuition 
the awareness. It's the channel of perfected form going into the Ten, the intuition to, to be able to bring beauty to the world, to see beauty, to know what is beautiful, to know how to arrange things intuitively so that they give you this feel-good factor. The spleen is all about the feel-good. It feels good to pay attention to your intuition. And it doesn't feel good to think afterwards, oh, I knew that and I didn't do anything about it. That's like ignoring your own innate uh, abilities. So I wanted to draw attention to that today. I hope it's been helpful to you. If it has, please uh, like and subscribe and share this. I'd be very grateful. And I will see you again later on this week. Thank you. Bye.